Your facility has chosen Super Sani Cloth germicidal disposable wipes for routine housewide disinfection on high touch, hard non porous surfaces, such as countertops, bed rails, keyboards, carts, and medical equipment. Its two minute contact time is proven to be effective against 30 microorganisms, such as bacteria, multi drug resistant bacteria, TB bloodborne pathogens, and viruses, including SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. The following section provides step-by-step -step instruction on product use techniques, procedures, and protocols necessary to ensure proper compliance. When using Super SaniCloth germicidal disposable wipes to clean and disinfect blood and bodily fluids, be sure to wear gloves and other personal protective equipment as appropriate and always dispense wipes either through the canister lid or through the soft pack lid. Step one, prepare the canister or the soft pack. To prepare the canister to dispense the first wipe, find center of wipe roll, then twist corner of wipe into a point and thread through the hole in the canister lid. Next, pull through about one inch and replace the lid. To prepare the soft pack to dispense the first wipe, Open the package lid. Completely remove the inner seal. Pull out the wipe at an angle through the opening. Whether you are dispensing from a canister or a soft pack, there is no need to mix or measure. The pre-saturated wipes have the correct amount of germicidal solution, saving valuable time. Step two, dispensing a wipe. When dispensing a wipe from the canister, open the lid and cup one hand, covering the opening halfway. With your other hand, remove a single wipe with a uniform pull out and away from your face and eyes. Close the lid so it snaps shut to prevent moisture loss. When dispensing a wipe from a soft pack, continue to pull out the wipe at an angle. Snap the soft pack lid closed after use to retain moisture. Step three, cleaning. Before wiping a surface, determine if there is visible soil present. If you can see dust, dirt, blood or other organic material you will need to clean prior to disinfection. This step is required only if visible soil is present. To clean, use the first wipe to remove any visible soil from the surface. Make sure all of the soil is removed, using more wipes if necessary. Step 4. Disinfecting. To disinfect, there must be no visible soil on the surface. Dispense a wipe using the proper procedure in step two. Be sure to close the lid. Using the clean wipe, thoroughly wipe the surface, getting into crevices and corners. The highly absorbent material has improved fluid capacity and is both thick and strong. The surface must remain visibly wet for the full two minutes. Please note what looks wet on one surface may look different on another surface type. Evaporation rates are affected by room humidity, temperature, and airflow. These factors must be taken into consideration when following label directions. Use additional wipes if needed to ensure continuous two-minute wet contact time. Once the two-minute wet contact time is complete, allow the surface to air dry. Step five, wipe disposal. Dispose of used wipe in trash or in accordance with your facility's regulations for infectious waste disposal. Do not flush in toilet. Do not reuse the wipe. When using any germicidal wipe, there are precautions to consider. These wipes are not for use on skin. This is not a baby wipe. Super Sani Cloth wipes are non-carcinogenic. Super Sani Cloth Wipes product expiration date is stamped on the canister or on the soft pack. This product has a shelf life of 24 months.